said the suspect, Daria Trepova, may have approached to target an event at the cafe and gifted him a statue packed with explosives. This video purports to show her carrying a package inside before the blast. Russia's Ministry of Internal Affairs showed police questioning Trepova. What did you do? I took the statuette there that exploded. Who gave you that statuette? Can I tell you later? Russian politicians, without evidence, immediately pointed the finger for Tatarsky's killing at Ukraine's intelligence services. The Kremlin called the killing a terrorist act. Tatarsky, who had fought in Ukraine, was an ultranationalist with more than half a million followers on Telegram. But he mixed his cheerleading for the war with criticism of the way Moscow's defence establishment was handling it. Like others in his camp, he avoided criticising President Vladimir Putin directly. This was the second killing on Russian soil of a high-profile war propagandist. group fighting for Russia in Ukraine. Prigozhin, who once owned the cafe Tatarsky was killed in, is a highly divisive figure. He has frequently argued with the defence establishment, accusing it of starving his men of ammunition and denying them credit for advances. But Prigozhin said he would not blame the government in Kiev. Russia's National Anti-Terrorism Committee said Ukraine's intelligence services masterminded the bombing with help from supporters of jailed Kremlin critic Alexei Navalny. That appeared to refer to the fact that Trepova once registered to take part in an anti-Kremlin tactical voting scheme promoted by Navalny's movement. Navalny's allies, who have fled abroad, rejected the accusation. They said it was more likely that Russia's own intelligence services were behind the killing. A Ukrainian soldier is said to have been concussed after a violent scuffle with clerics in a Russian-linked church in Ukraine on Sunday. 